we will be discussing further on matrices we'll continue our discussion in this session we'll just be discussing some more special kind of matrices at this point of time you just need to remember what exactly each matrix stands for later down the line when we are applying matlab programming aspects to these um, to these artificial intelligent algorithms it will become more clear why we need to understand these matrices okay so for now just understand it we'll so we'll be solving a lot of questions building the reasoning required to understand the algorithms and then we'll implement this with machine learning models frameworks and other different stacks okay so let's start with symmetric symmetric matrix to start with a matrix is symmetric if the matrix equals its transpose so here we have an example the matrix is 1 to 3 2 4 5 3 5 8 and then the transpose that is when you are going to reverse the what do you say the rows with the columns you still get the same value if you're not sure what exactly transpose is just refer to the same series of matrices lecture in which i've discussed what exactly a transpose stands for but in quick we're just reversing the rows with the column entries and then this row with the second column entry and then the third row with the third column entry and still the matrix is the same so it's a symmetric matrix next comes q symmetric matrix a matrix is q symmetric if the transpose equals the negative value of the original matrix so i have a i have a matrix a whose values are as under the transpose will be again the reversal of rows with the column so this is the transpose which is equal to negative value of our original matrix a as you can see here so if i put negative to my original value here then this becomes positive this becomes positive this becomes negative this becomes positive this becomes negative negative and positive which gives me the transpose of the matrix okay so this is q symmetric matrix next one is orthogonal matrix an orthogonal matrix is one in which when the matrix when the matrix is multiplied with its transpose it gives an identity matrix note that it should be both left transpose and right transpose as well okay so this is an orthogonal matrix again all these matrix are very important when we will be doing programming in matlab or any programming language because the underlining algos what we study in machine learnings and artificial intelligence really depends on these understandings all right just keep them in mind at this point in time we will be solving equations and then understanding them in detail and then we'll move to programming okay sorry i repeat this over and over in this session because it's sort of it might feel we are just learning certain things which makes no practical sense but it will so just rest so just be rest assured on that front permutation matrix a permutation matrix is said to be one which has exactly one non zero entry in the entire row so in this case i have this one which is a non zero entry for first row then here for the second row the third one's here so there's just one entry which is non zero in every single row and that is a permutation matrix normal matrix is one in which when you multiply the co conjugate transpose of a matrix with itself it is actually um it commutes it commutes so basically you remember the commutative property we'd say ab equals ba so you multiply a into b and will be equal to when you multiply b with a right so similarly a no a normal matrix is one in which when you sort of multiply the original matrix a with its conjugate transpose and then if you commute it so you reverse the order you know it's still the same so that's a normal matrix and then hermenian matrix is one in which the conjugate transpose of the matrix equals the matrix itself so here's one example but you can just keep it in mind what exactly an hermenian matrix is okay skew hermenian is one in which the conjugate transpose of the matrix equals the negative of a matrix a unitary matrix is one in which when you again commute it on the left and the right it gives you an identity matrix again a dependent matrix is one in which when you square the matrix you still get the original matrix 
back so I have two matrices same and then when I square them I actually get my original matrix back so this is an important matrix then I have projection matrix and an important matrix which is also Hermelian is called a projection matrix so if you have an important matrix and then you have a Hermelian matrix in the same matrix and it is a projection matrix and then sub matrix of a matrix is nothing but you delete some rows and column entries from a matrix and then it gives you a sub sample of the same matrix space and that is sub matrix of a matrix that's pretty much it for this session yeah I know it was lot theoretical in nature but like I said it'll get more practical down the line